So, hello and welcome back. And this time I brought you a little presentation about the bot I was, the Discord bot I was working on, or I'm still working on. And for this, I created a small server. And you can find the Discord bot on dropsoft.org, and there you can navigate to products. And as you can see, you can uh, see Droplet here. This is the bot. And then we um, go to this side. And as you can see, we can see all the features that the bot has. It has some more features that I didn't list here. But to invite it, we can just click here on invite bot. And then we can see here the server that we want the, to invite the bot into. And here are, if you don't want the bot to send messages or something, you can take away um, permissions here. But for this demonstration, I leave everything here ticked. So let's authorize the bot. Now we can see Discord is loading and we have Droplet here in our server now. So to get an overview of every command the, you can use with the bot, you can just simply use the help slash command. You can also have use the auto um, complete feature of Discord here. And as you can see, we have some features here that we can use. For example, we can add a product. This is only for me. The bot um, generates the help command automatically for you. Um, which functions you can access. So we can ignore these where it says dropped soft only. Um, but you can, for example, add a resource. And you can just fill out these um, things here. For example, here we can say test, category. There, there you can also specify a category for the resource you want to share and then describe something about the resource description. And then you can specify a URL here. For example, we could specify um, Discord here. Yeah, difficulty, is it for beginners or um, what's the audience for this resource? And then you can specify text also, which should be comma separated. And then after sending this resource, um, you can see it is then um, pinned to this channel. Or even, or it didn't get pinned here, but it uh, gets listed here for um, resources. Um, this is because I didn't give the bot administration uh, administrator rights here. Uh, otherwise, it would pin the message here also to the to the pinned messages. But we can see here we get a link to um, see the resources. And here are other resources that all were already shared by the bot. And if we scroll down, we can also see our resource that we just added. Then we can navigate back, close this tab again. And let's see what other commands we have. Um, here um, we can blacklist the username. This is also an administrat uh, administrative thing that I added. Um, this is for the portal command. So we could add a portal. And as you can see, server settings, roles, create a new role, or just make a droplet like an admin or something. Permissions. Administrator. Uh, 
That could be if I need to add an administrator role to myself. So yeah, that might be a thing. Uh, that's good to show, right? <laughs> so you st don't stumble into this also. And then we add ourselves to this role and permissions. Administrator right here. Perfect. Now we have, okay, let's give him the admin role also, just to make sure. Now if we use the help command again, we can see a lot more commands are happening here. So now we can actually use the portal command, but let's check um, the resource command I already uh, discussed. The um, blacklist command is only for me. This one is, might be interesting, a challenge badge. We can create challenges using the bot. And this is like this. We can create it in here. And then we can create a challenge. What is... And then we can provide a solution. And then we can provide a badge. A badge is just emoji. We can use that and experience points we want to give the user. And also the title of a challenge. Uh, just call it good math. Like that. And with that command, a challenge will be created. Like this, we can see here. We get drop points rewarded. And if we provide a solution that is wrong, then we get this reply from the bot. And if we actually solve the, solu solve the challenge, then we can see we have been awarded with the badge and then this check mark and also 500 points. Now, <clears throat> Sorry, we can use this command to display our own profile. We can just add ourselves and this will display our profile and then we can see the servers that we are on. Here we can see around hook spot demo and then here team, we have some badges here and then yeah, this. And then um, here you can see the um, level and the points that I have. And the points actually can be seen here also on the leader leaderboard. And then you can see um, people with a lot of experience points. And somewhere here is me. Yep. So that's that. We can also create challenges for roles. This is great for um, a server, um, basically to verify um, users. This is done by the um, challenge role. And we can also create it here. And the question might be something, solution, Yes, and the real role we only have one role here. Oh, maybe you can yeah, just do the administrator role and then just call this test. And you could have this as a gate for your server um, where um, every user can join, and then based on what they answer, they get a role and can see more of the the server. So just for demonstration purposes, I remove the administration role here and just enter here, no. Then of course we can see this is not the right answer. Otherwise we can provide yes. And then well done, I solved the challenge. And as you can see, we also have the administration role here again. Then with our points, we can also gamble. Um, we can roll a dice and then place a bidding, for example, 50. 
and then we can see we lost and now our balance was updated. We can also flip a coin, also provide a um, bidding for 100, let's say. Uh, bad luck, <laughs> didn't win again and yeah, our balance got updated again. So what else do we have? Help command, of course. Um, yeah, lists this list here, and this is uh, dynamically generated. So every user can only see the commands that they actually can use. And if you write here, try and drop soft, this self-marketing here, you can join us here with this link. Um, otherwise, what do we have? Yeah, this is another Dropsoft only command. Then the profile I already showed. This is a Dropsoft only command again. A reaction role. I, um, yeah, reaction roles. Yeah, this is a great one. <laughs> Almost forgot. Let's make another comma. Let's make another channel for roles. We ha also have um, reaction roles here. We can say hello and react here to blah blah yeah blah 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 let's write this message and what we need from here is we need to copy the message link and then we can already create reaction roles reaction role message link we provide the message we want to create a message uh, a reaction role on then what we need to yeah react with then the role that this should toggle and we press enter and we say see it's already created then we can see here um, a reaction was added by a droplet and if we click here our role should maybe be updated if we remove it again at least maybe it doesn't work for administrators but yeah this is also great for demonstration again but this works um comfortably uh, this works really well on uh, user roles um, i'm not sure if it can't access my roles because i'm technically more privileged than uh, droplet itself so that might be a problem here So we can also, yeah, if we have our portal here, let's set our portal here again. Then the portal is enabled and we can write a message here. And then we can switch to another server with a portal enabled. And here is my server and it has the portal enabled also. So you can see the um, message gets synced here. And we, if we write something here, it also gets um, displayed here and as well as synced to every other server that also has a portal enabled. Um, another thing that we can use is we can get a quick display over this server. If we um, use this command, we can get a quick overview of the server here. Member count two, as you can see. And it's not a community server because, well, it was just recently created right now. <laughs> and it's discoverable. No, no, it's not verified. And yeah, that's just some short, dis short details about this server, which might be useful or not. And we can also set channels. Um, if you want to have a special greeting, we can use um, the set channel command for um, a server logging channel um, where some events get logged. And then a goodbye channel where, uh, yeah, where 
it gets locked if um, a member leaves leaves the server and then we have a welcome server a uh, welcome channel where um, it gets locked if somebody joins the server exactly and this already concludes us pretty much but i will show you now a few more things we for example have a welcome channel here where you can solve challenges here and here everybody can join as you can see here and they don't have roles but then we have a private section for example where you can only get if you have the hacker role this might be a verified role for your server if you want to add the bot to your server which i would highly recommend because i spend a lot of time <laughs> coding the bot <laughs> so yeah and yeah and this um, section is then only accessible um, by members um, which have the hacker role as you can see here there are no more um, unverified users and as you can see if you as you have seen also um the bot is also there for um supporting me and my endeavors to um manage the dropsoft site um so um the resources you have already seen get dynamically managed by the bot but also uh, the members and also the e sign releases where um no releases are um, have been done yet of course and then also it can manage the products which is still under development a little bit but this doesn't concern you it, i just wanted to point that out that it's basically a little cms but you can also set this up for your own server um the bot is of course open source because um, if you want to invite it to your server you want to know exactly what it's doing so i made it um, public and also you can easily clone it and such because i licensed it under the mit license so basically you can basically do everything with it so here's a little description we covered a lot of the features which might be um, interesting is here how the bot is um, constructed basically how the art <clears throat> i'm sorry how the architecture of the bot works to um, add new commands yeah i can cover this in a separate video but um if you are curious about the documentation um this is strictly for developers um you can access um, the documentation here and there's a list of every namespace and all the classes and whatever so you can dig around here and also of course you can contact me if you want to clone the bot and yeah and as you can see here it's uh, written in c++ it uses the um dpp the uh library i think i have linked it here somewhere um maybe i didn't well that's unfortunate but it's a great library um shout outs to the developers of dpp it's really great uh the best bot library for c i think that's also why i chose it so yeah that's this concludes the video i think you can see here is the direct link to the bot again if you want to um, invite it to your server i will also have this link in my video description and of course also the github link but you can access the github also here through this button here right and also the documentation can be viewed here also for, um, this is also the docu documentation for developers only so it's not a usage documentation just in case you wonder but yeah yeah thanks for watching again and this was um, a quick overview of the bot and all its features in all its glory yeah i would be really happy if you would join um, us and also would add the um discord bot to your server i would i will add all the links in the video description yeah thanks and see you next time